So, hey everybody! Hey! <laughs> I'm here with Aisha Ponders and Eleanor's hey. Vegan Life. And today we're going to be doing a support video for vegans that are feeling down in veganism, basically, for whatever reason. And just kind of going through the different reasons that you might be down and what you can do to make you feel better again. <laughs> well done for getting to the stage where you actually have um, exposed your stuff to some of the things that will upset you because um, a lot of people they want to turn a blind eye and they don't really want to have that feeling of sadness within them um, but well done for actually being okay with feeling sad and actually just sort of exposing yourself to mm -hmm. perhaps things like slaughterhouse footage and um, maybe some facts about the environment, uh, animal agriculture versus the environment and things like that. Um, yeah, so like obviously we've all gone through that process, especially vegan activists, hence why people become vegan activists, um, of just exposing themselves to that. So well done. Like, you just need to know that you're amazing for um, coming to that place. And also well <laughs> done for giving up all of the foods as well, not just about exposing yourself to the horrific footage, but well done for giving up foods that might have been your favourite food or... I used to love dairy chocolate, so <laughs> I know exactly what it is like to give up something that you really enjoy eating. And there are lots of people who appreciate all the activists, I think. Anyone who is an activist themselves likes to have other people around them, like even if it's like commenting on Facebook posts, encouraging that kind of scary post of slaughterhouse footage on your personal Facebook page, where if one person likes it, it does make you feel appreciated, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing can really help. The next point is what kind of situations would normally get you down? So I think we were all going to say like our personal experiences, do you want to say? Okay, so for me personally it's more about feeling overwhelmed by the task of making the world go vegan and how far away it seems and almost at times impossible it seems that the whole world is against you and you're on your own in this battle and that can be quite scary sometimes. Yeah. For me, it's more, um, I get I get really um, upset and down when I think about the animals and I think about how many animals are being killed every single second and how vast the problem is and how vast the slaughter is and all of these animals are struggling and they're voiceless and when I remind myself of that, I, I get really, really down and I just feel like what more you know like you know what more can I do and like I just feel like one person battling against the whole world that's doing this and I just feel yeah really powerless really like what can one person do yeah and um for me I think like and probably for everyone it's a variety of different things like at one point I may feel like I'm not doing enough and another point I might feel like I'm overwhelmed by the things that I'm doing I think we've all probably mm -hmm. felt and also, or just like um, simply being in a situation where you have to be uh, next to somebody consuming, you know, animals that have suffered. So um, across the table from you, um, people that just haven't made that connection. And um, yeah, just on day to day when you made a sort of it comes up a lot, food comes up a lot and animals come up a hell of a lot and I think yeah even when other people are talking about animals in a nice way it still annoys me because it's yeah, like but you yeah, don't understand definitely. it all. <laughs> like opening the fridge and seeing a dead body every single day, yeah. three, four yeah. times a day, that's tough and you see it as a dead body, you don't see it as food, mm. you do see like that living being that's gone through all the suffering so yeah, yeah. it does get to you and it gets to you, or at least it gets to me quite frequently you just have to learn to I get really angry about it like when I see people eating meat and like when I see people eating dairy I get so angry just thinking about you know where that's come from and especially with people that have already kind of like I have a lot of people that I know that know the cruelty and then 
choose to ignore or ignore it. Willful ignorance. Yeah, yeah. Willful, willful ignorance. And That's then um, continue to eat things that they know exactly what's happened. And that just makes me so angry. Um, like um, in one of my, <coughs> I won't go into it too much, but um, the other day obviously I went to the restaurant, I had a video about it, mm -hmm. and it was just of me um, ordering my food, and they accidentally brought out one that obviously had an animal inside, like a meat inside, mm. I bit into it, and that was just horrible, and it was all due to the fact that they don't consider it a big deal, and uh, living in a carnivorous world, so... Um, that was very upsetting. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> eating meat's awful. Even if it's not your fault, it's still horrible. Yeah. It's, it's quite traumatic. It's yeah. quite traumatic just sort of living in a society where people are causing such harm. And that people oh, don't like, care mm. at all. But I anyway, just thought it was such but... a tiny little thing. <laughs> like, yeah, we're going off track. <laughs> yeah. Now. Yeah. Although it may feel so overwhelming to be in this position right now, um, I'm sure that in other movements like feminism and um, black rights and things like that they probably felt as if could this ever um, could we ever mm. create equal rights and they probably felt so overwhelmed by it all and um, they had their own kind of like support groups and things like that and um, well, if but you think about slavery how scary it must be because the world was so used to having slaves. It's completely ingrained and into culture. Yeah. They used to have like, toys of like, yeah. black people. Yeah. Like, that was just. I couldn't imagine having to be an activist people. for ending slavery. It would just be so overwhelming. The good thing about but, the uh, movement that we're obviously a part of now is that we don't um, necessarily have to put ourselves into a position where we will be using violence. It's a lot of it is through social media, um, even if there is violence being used, that's filmed and then put on social media, and so like at least we're in a movement where we minimise all suffering. To... Yeah. 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 So for some points on how to actually make yourself feel better when you are feeling a bit overwhelmed, is, well first thing is to just do some activism, it kind of makes you feel like you are helping and that when you actually get out there you're meeting people you're chatting or you're filming a video you're being active so you're not dwelling on the problem you're just getting on and helping um, and another thing that you can do just to kind of make you feel happier and a bit more uplifted instantly is you can watch some uplifting YouTube videos like um, Plant Based News's Vegan 2015 video, I find that so inspiring um, and also listen to podcasts such as The Vegan Revolution, he's also very uplifting and inspiring. It gets you really pumped to actually yeah. do more activism, Yeah, yeah. get inspired think, that we um, are helping. And it makes you feel like there's a lot of people behind you as well, because I think that's another big thing, is you feel so lonely when you're in least, that low yeah. place. You've got at least one friend, even if it's just <coughs> on a podcast yeah. or on a YouTube video. It feels like you're connected to vegans. Yeah. Yeah, when we when I remember me and Eleanor went to Vegan Futures, this big festival, there were loads of um, like talks, of YouTubers went there and everything, and that's like one of the best days of my existence being vegan or whatever because I felt so pumped and so <laughs> enthusiastic and so when you like plan things to do like activism with people you also feel like you're somebody that's changing the world and you feel like that's quite a cool thing to be part of as well yeah and it's okay to be you know to feel pride in being a good person yeah so that brings me on yeah. to the other thing that I quite often do, which is look at this um, as a picture that gets shared every day on Facebook, mm -hmm. on this Facebook page, from the facts from Cowspiracy, which is the facts that a vegan does every single day. And I don't know what they all are off the top of my head, but it's about how much water you save, how much land you save, how many animals you save. Every single day you have actually achieved those things, compared to somebody that would eat meat and dairy. And there's the vegan calculator as well. Yeah. But also, it's okay to take a break. Like you don't have to do activism twenty four seven, 
um, it sometimes you want to like you want to spend every second of your life doing it because it's that important but you need to before you burn out you need to take a bit of a break and learn to relax and kind of look after your own mental health and you just your sanity take a break from thinking about how horrific things are yeah and, and self-love as yeah. well look after yourself and yeah that's really take important. a bath and read a book that has yeah. nothing to do with veganism or watch a trashy tv show and just let your mind relax a bit yeah, yeah. and then you come back yeah. fresh and more effective maybe yeah. take a break off social media for like yeah a little bit because obviously even if it's just half a day um, the next thing that you can do is talk to another vegan. So, obviously, like it's amazing that I've got these two friends here. <laughs> um, but I only recently had vegan friends, so um, I can't believe you only yeah. just because obviously you've been vegan for so long. Yeah. You've never. Yeah. Did you just not think about it? I just I just didn't know how to make friends with any vegans. I just didn't know where to find them mm. and. Um, that's another thing that I now know and what I did was I found um, a group on Facebook where so the power of social media if you just search the name of your city and then vegans or vegan your city on Facebook there's bound to be like a group or something near to you like in that area um, of vegans or vegetarians and just add yourself to it and write a post and say hey like I don't have any vegan friends does anyone want to meet up and I was just flooded with requests, like everyone wanted to meet up and I think that a lot of people are in really similar situations where they don't have many vegan friends and as soon as I met somebody that was vegan there was just an instant connection there because mm. you just really understand each other on a really deep level. Um, so it filled a hole and um, it was really important to do that and I'm so glad that I did that and that's actually not only may help me to stop feeling so down but it's also given me more confidence to like go out there and do activism and speak my mind to people that have a go at me about it and things like that so yeah it's it's definitely a good thing to to reach but even out to like people. if these friends are like only online even if it's just talking to someone halfway mm. across the world who's yeah. also vegan that's fine you don't have to be in the room you can Skype each other or just send a message on Facebook or on YouTube and if someone's struggling I'm sure someone else will come along and help. Yeah, like talk to any of us, someone, yeah. like send any of us a message and we will definitely welcome you with open arms and make you're new friends. Definitely. Feeling down. Also like, because um, obviously if you're making friends it's also really important to support them when they're feeling really down because obviously like all of us are potentially in this kind of position where we could feel down about everything and it's like when you support them they can support you and you've created even more of a kind of bond when that happens so yeah support others as well so another way you can get in contact with vegan groups is this website called meetup.com and if i send it to you you'll link it yeah. below and there's a few you can just search vegan and there's lots of groups on there like London Vegan Actions and London Meetup or something like that and they are two different groups, one's for activism and one's just for social events and they're obviously based in London but wherever you are in the world they'll have different vegan events in your area. Um, there's also a regular meetup that happens, that's been happening once every month in London um, for YouTubers and watchers of YouTubers. Um, there's a group on Facebook, I think it's called London Vegan Meetups, yeah. which you can join and the event will be posted every month and that's where I first met these two and I've met loads of other lovely people there as well. So. Just in case you're wondering about what kind of activism you can do, just to let you know, I do have a video called 12 Things You Can Do As An Activist Today, and they're just like kind of little tips you can do. They're mostly um, simple, easy ones you can do if you're shy, but I also really want to make a video soon for like maybe more confident ones, because us three are going to be doing some more um, proper good activism lately. We're going to be doing the Earthlings Experience, we're going to be doing... Um, Food Not Bombs, which is where you collect uh, food waste 
and hand that out, talk about veganism, it's all vegan food and um, we're also going to be doing slaughterhouse. We're going, going to, to visit a slaughterhouse, yeah, and so get some you'll, yeah. footage outside. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, if you just want the kind of li more little tips, like stickers and stuff like that. T-shirts, um, like this one. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Sheath. <Schaaf. laughs> yeah. There's loads of things you can do, lots of little things. Okay, so I think that one of the most important tips, or most powerful, um, pieces of advice that I have heard on how to feel better and um, I hope that this will help you too is just to realise and remember that the animals and the planet and people's health that you being upset isn't going to benefit that so <laughs> basically if you just kind of um, realise that in order to be a uh, a good activist and in order to make a change it's not about you anymore it is about everyone else so you need to do all those things that we've said like look after yourself you know just put put them put them first in a way I mean like obviously you have to put yourself first to feel as if you can be in that place to do that um, but I I don't know that just kind of clicks with me it makes me feel mm. yeah just kind of like yeah. I don't have a reason to feel gloomy anymore because it's not really benefiting myself or the animals who I want to be helping because they're obviously going through it a lot more but it's worse. still okay to be upset just be upset yeah. for a short period of time admit how much it sucks and cry a bit and be like oh my god it's horrible but then kind of get yourself together and be like well there's nothing you can do to change what's happening right now but you can change what's happening in the future whether it's a day mm. or a week or 50 years you can still change that so yeah. don't dwell on what's happening but just focus your energy on something you can change yeah yeah and it's like um it's like you were saying that every single day just being vegan alone makes such a big difference yes yeah. i mean just saving one animal's life is such a huge thing so yeah. just remember that even if you feel like you might not be doing much that's one animal's life so um i hope that this video has helped you guys um and that you can relate to some of the things that we've said if you have got any of your own experiences that you want to share, please let us know in the comments box. And if you have anything that's helped you to feel better, then let us know that as well that we haven't mentioned in we the video. We appreciate tips. Yeah, we would. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can all learn from each other. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, and like we said, if you ever feel like you need to talk to somebody, then you can always contact us. Yeah. Um, or watch our big vegan chat and get to know us a bit better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll put the links to everything that we've talked about in the description box. And um, yeah, that's it. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs>